We've already seen some fairly um, inflammatory comments made by Kingi uh, and others uh, saying that if I did go onto the Marae and did speak uh, about TPP, uh, then uh, that would incite you know, protests and essentially violence, and he would encourage that. And I think that puts a whole lot of people, including my protection people, in quite a you know, dangerous position. Uh, secondly, I think um, it's a situation where my relationship with uh, uh, the Titi Marae, if you like, has been one of uh, very much respect. I've respected their tikanga, their customs, I've respected that environment, and I've always tried to go there as Prime Minister to ensure that the engagement uh, with the Marae and, and the elders of that Marae uh, is intact as relationship with the treaty. But respect goes both ways. Uh, that's also the respect to allow me to actually speak. And one of the big issues really about this year uh, has been TPP, and some in Maradim have believed there hasn't been enough discussion, enough consultation, if you like. We would utterly reject that because there's been actually years of discussion with Māori about TPP. But it, in essence, by stopping me going on the marae and actually answering the protesters that would be outside, which may well have even blocked me going onto the lower marae, they're doing the very thing that they're criticising me for. They're not giving the government any opportunity to actually go and explain our position, which actually um, answers all of the questions they want. So I made the call I'm not going. Uh, I will uh, take some advice from my office now about uh, where I can go and celebrate Waitangi Day on Waitangi Day. It'll be my intention to do that, uh, but it'll be somewhere other than Waitangi.